Welcome to another segment in our airway series. This one upon how to place an oral airway. This is part one of two in this particular module. In this segment, I go over how to place an airway with the use of some anatomic backdrops where I can emphasize the anatomy upon its placement. In part two, I review how to place the oral airway in a live demonstration. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with us. Medical Specialists Associates, making medical education more accessible. So here we are to talk about the oral airway. So again, this is a particular device to bypass upper airway obstruction. So what is upper airway obstruction again? Upper airway obstruction is when these pharyngeal muscles here relax, or maybe when the tongue goes too far back into the posterior part of the pharynx, and you have obstruction in this region from either air in the, from the mouth or the nose coming straight back to the glottic opening and into the lungs. And so we can use an oral airway to bypass that obstruction. So if we would look here on the anatomy, what we would want is, is we would want to insert our oral airway in for it to seed something right about here. And then what you have is, is with this rigidity, you have a stenting open of the collapse of these posterior pharyngeal muscles or the tongue coming back here and air now being able to come from the mouth through this device into the glottic opening down here. So what would this look like when we put it in? Well, you could put this in in a few different ways. One way is, is to just simply follow the tongue straight back and to have it seed and that would be fine. Some people find that it's a little easier for them to first put it in reverse and they get as far back as they can into the throat as possible. And then when they're that far back, then they rotate it and then they seat it in this particular way here. Both are fine and it's good to know how to put it in both ways because each person's anatomy is different and maybe one particular way is easier to put it in than another on an individual patient. Thank you so much for watching and learning with us today. If you're interested in taking this class for credit, or if you're interested in our other services, such as our direct clinical care services, please visit our website at www.med-specialist.net or click on the link in the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our most current content and educational opportunities.